Well, hello everyone. This is Dan here with another under seven minute beer review. Uh, coming to you indoors today because it's uh, a bit rainy out there today. And today we have the first of my Bryn Mawr beverage store uh, finds. It is from Attic Brewing Company and it is called Sage Against the Machine. It is a session sour ale with sage and sea salt. So basically it goes with sage in it. And it goes for, or goes, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. For those of you that don't know, it's an old German style of beer. It is a sour wheat ale that's a little bit salty. And over here in the States, they tend to put in lots of adjuncts make it taste even more interesting. So let's pour in the old beer mug here and see what we get. Ah, perfect golden color as I expected. Nice head building on the mug there. Let's see what we get. All right, got a good head building here a little bit, hopefully. We should have washed the mug last night and let it sit, but that's okay. Got a one finger white head Clear yellow beer in the glass, lots of good carbonation rolling up the sides. Let us see what the odor is here. The perfume, the, the, the smell of the beer. Um, technical blah blah blah. Ooh. Yes, bright. Bright is how I would describe that. Just sort of lemon, a lot of sage, herbal stuff in and here. Um, did I mention the brewery? It's Attic Brewing Company in Germantown, neighborhood of Philadelphia. Let's see if they have the address on the side of this thing. No, they just, oh, they do. 137 Berkeley Street, Germantown. And the website is www.atticbrewing.com. We'll put all that in the description down below and all that good stuff. I see the head is dissipated. This sometimes does happen on a sour beer. Let's give it a taste. Ooh. 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 That's nice. It's very. The sour is up front. Definitely lemon. A lemony sour. But not harsh sour. I'm going to get that nice herbal backbone from the sage, I would assume. And the salt's there. Not too strong. Well, no, a rather nice beer to pair with a salad or some fish. <sighs> like a salmon, salmon, or a tuna, maybe. Mm. Ooh. That's really good. Wish I had more than just a four pack of this stuff. But then I have a preference for sour beers and <sighs> interesting flavors. Anyway, another good look at the label here. I don't know how well that's focusing in the camera. We'll go nice and slow. I like it when brewers have nice punny names for their beers as well. I haven't been up to Attic in a while. Maybe I should try to get there in December. Anyway, um, but in three days time, Saturday, the 28th of this month, I shall be taking the train uh, from here in Paoli on up to Ambler, Pennsylvania, and hanging out at uh, Tannery Run and the lovely folks at Forreston, Maine as well, and hopefully finding some more interesting beers to bring back for the channel. Uh, if anyone wants to hang around up there, I'm hoping to get to Tannery Run around 1 o'clock-ish or so, maybe, depending on train schedules and things. They've changed a lot of the train schedules here on the SEPTA. I guess trying to adjust to uh, ridership issues. Anyway, but that's about all from here. If you find any beers around the area, if you're a watcher from this area, uh, Attic makes very good beer. Their brown ale is one of the best in the city, right up there with two locals. And I give Sage Against the Machine thumbs up, would buy again. Mmm. <sighs> it's just nice for sitting and sipping on. Could use some crackers, though, or maybe a 
pretzels, pretzels. Anyway, um, do, if you like the, these short, annoying beer reviews, um, click the like and subscribe button down below, and keep drinking beer. We'll have another video next week. It'll be a dark lager from the nice folks at Wrong Crowd or over in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Till then, stay safe out there.